Yo, still bills. What's the deal, man? Peep game. My man got a beanie on. It's 84 degrees outside, man. Shit crazy, bro. But yeah, man, we um, I wanna talk about motherfucking um uh Andre Ward joining camp or just you know coming to camp with a uh, Caleb Plant, man. I think that's a go, I think that's a dope, a dope look, man. It's a dope move, it's a logical move to make. Um who better than to seek expertise from? You know what I'm saying? He's a great that in my part, you know, my personal opinion retired a little too early, man. But when you dedicate that much to, you know, half of your life, the majority of your life to this particular sport, I guess no time is too early. Because you know, you know what? A knockout, not only is a knockout loss around the counter, but your mobility, you know, your mobility being sacrificed is as well, man. So I guess, you know, him and Bradley are two dudes who decided to hang it up early where I thought they could have most definitely still be making. They could still be making noise today, um, both of them. But they decided to retire, and I see nothing wrong with that whatsoever, man. But I think what, what people are, um, what people are failing to realize with Caleb Plant, man, is you know Andre Ward can't get in there and fight for him, man. Even though I think, I thought Caleb Plant was gonna be able to give Canelo issues just in general, anyway. But I think. He may be able to, you know, expound on the uh, on the issues that he's gonna give Canelo under the tutelage of a of a Andre Ward because Andre Ward was just that good. And yeah, man, um, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just that Andre Ward can't get in there and fight for him. So now with Andre, you know, and it's it's real weird going into like. I'm, I keep circling back to this, like, just the mannerisms and, you know, the things that Caleb Plant is doing as it leads up to this fight, man. He's never won C2 to lose from any other fighter on this level, to my knowledge. He's never won and got a, pound, a former count, pound for pound, <laughs> kingpin for a Vincent or a Mike Lee or a, a Jose Uzcatechi. He's never done that before. Especially for a fight to be that he's claiming is going to be easier you know, easy. He's never done that before. So I think, well, you know, he's 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 expecting Andre Ward to somewhat pick up the slack of, you know, minus 30-something fights in comparison between the two. With him and Canelo, that is. So he's expecting Andre Ward to, you know, all right, cool, this is my feeling for, you know, lackluster competition and just... You know, 20 fights is a lot of fights. You dig? But in comparison to, you know, the opponent, the man across the ring, it isn't. So, you just, you see the mannerisms and the actions that he's taking leading up to this fight. And it is somewhat shaky. Not even somewhat, it's very shaky. Like, bro, I don't know if you, you know, uh, at first I was like, yeah, man, you know, it's confidence. But I, it's looking a little bit more like nervousness to me. It's looking a lot more like nervousness, man. He's been the main one flying to the, you know, to the to Twitter. He'd been, you know, he'd been, you know, wilding on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? The interviews and everything and just doing a lot of goofy shit as it leads up to this fight. I haven't heard Canelo say too much of anything about him. Um, honestly, nothing has came up. I'm not saying that Canelo hasn't said anything, but nothing has came up. Nothing at all has came up about Canelo speaking on Caleb Plant in any way, shape, form fashion in the in the in the in the in the in the type bravado that came with planet speaking on Canelo. That's what I mean. So he could most definitely be on you know behind the scenes talking real slick but we just haven't heard anything. So um it's a dope look most definitely man I, I it's it's a dope anytime you can anytime a, a a great is willing to come in you know tutor you and somewhat take you under the wing to better prepare you for a, a, a big task at hand is a that's a that's the logical thing to do. That's the logical thing to do. But it's just all the extra shit that I can't do. With. At this point, it's, it's like it's not even a respect for his opponent. 
it's not even a respect for his opponent. It's 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 a multitude of things. It's a all oh, he's a he's a cheat because you know he can't you know he can't shake what took place during the Golovkin you know the first after the first Golovkin fight. But what people fail to realize is we're seven fight we're seven fights removed from that fight. It'll be eight in two months <clears throat> when him and um, Clanton face off. So it's a it's, it's cheating allegations and. You know, everything that you know is in Caleb Plant's cerebral as it you know relates to Canelo Alvarez is things from the past so he's a drug cheat because of what took place four and five years ago he's a lot easier because of the fights that took place nine and eight and seven years ago and the Laura was what 2013 no Floyd was 2013 I think Laura was 2014 man so that's Floyd's fight was eight years ago. Mars was seven years ago. The Lufkin was what five years ago, the first fight. So it's you know, it's it's like people are still, you know, they're living in the past. And I just got into it with a dude on one of these threads who said, Oh man, he looked like a cheat. And I'm like, well, how does a cheat look? And you know, when you can't answer the question, you kind of start, you know, niggas playing he started niggas playing. Oh man, you know what I mean? He, he looked like a cheat and this and I'm like, all right, cool. You know, you just make sure you keep that same energy for Floyd and Roy, because both of them pop dirty. Both of them pop dirty. You know, man, you think this is a black and white thing. You're a silly dude. I'm like, all right, so are you not one of the dudes who hopped on here when when we, you know, when people are singing the praises of a Canelo Alvarez, the first thing you run into is his loss to Floyd, how bad Floyd dusted him off? Oh well, yeah, I do. I did, you know what I'm saying? When the racism comes up, yeah. But I ain't finna go back and forth with you, dude. Scram. Now, mind you, he jumped in my conversation and tagged me first. You dig? So it's emotionalism going into this, into, into a lot of this shit. A lot of this shit is emotions, man. And just, you know, regardless if you're a competitor or not, you're a human at the end of the day. So the same shit that irritates another human being is gonna irritate you. You're not above nobody because you know motherfuckers know who you are. You're a professional in a certain sport. You're human at the end of the day. So the irritation that you know Calif that uh, Canelo has done in these past years or whatever, they just vex Caleb Plant, and it, you know all that shit is really coming into fruition. It's really coming into fruition, and it's coming more so into fruition now more than ever because they are about to fight. And I think a lot of it is him getting nervous. It's him getting nervous, which he wouldn't have to be nervous if he would have been going for the main, you know, the bigger fights. If he'd have been going for the, you know, the the the, the harder opposition, he wouldn't be in this scenario now where you got to run to Twitter all the time and get some, find somebody who's rooting for you and hates Canelo that much so you can be like Goku and feed on their energy. You dig what I'm saying? Like that shit is unnecessary, man. It's unnecessary. You, you know, you've made, you've been talking a lot for the past year or two. You've been on motherfuckers podcast talking about I beat, yeah, I, I know I can beat Canelo, and I don't need a, a full training camp to fight and this and that and the third. So, all right, cool. You was offered the first. You were supposed to fight Callum or uh, him instead of him fighting Callum. And you, nah, man, nah, I ain't doing that. You know, so you know your actions, actions speak louder than words. I can say right now, I'll fuck Mike Tyson up. Until Mike Tyson come holla at a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, man, why I gotta be all that, man? Why I gotta, man, come on, man. Why I gotta be all that, man? You dragging it. I'm about to belittle you because I barked on you. I'm about to make you seem like you, <laughs> you childish and you out of pocket because you're having an emotional reaction, as you should. I said I fucked Mike Tyson up. So when Mike Tyson come to holla at me, now I'm in my feelings and I'm, man, you, you, child that you want to fight i'm grown I'm, I'm too grown for that i wasn't too grown to say i fuck mike tyson up though you see how logical that you know illogical that is like come on man come on bro come on with the goofy shit you know we just we got we got to stop man we got to stop we got to stop caleb plant is you know kind of somewhat having an emotional breakdown I think as the fights get nearer and nearer, we're gonna see a lot more tweets from Caleb Plant, man. We're gonna see a lot more tweets and a lot more interviews with him trying to reassure himself that he's gonna win. 
dig? He needs that feedback from the people who hate Canelo. He needs that. That reassures him that, yeah, all right, cool, I got people in my corner. At least I, 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 have, I, have, I have a support system. And another thing, man, what I, I want to know where everybody is getting this mind, you know, I haven't seen anything about it, but Canelo allegedly said, if you don't stop making these allegations on Twitter, I'm going to pull out of the fight. Where are we, where, where is that from? Who said that? When did he say that? Where did they get that from, that he said that? Because he's the one chasing Undisputed. He's the one chasing Undisputed, so it would make no sense for him to pull out of a fight based on accusations that he already knows the entire boxing game is making about him. This just once again to show Canelo Alvarez in a goofy light, in a goofy. It, 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 it never ceases to amaze me. And of course, this information that's being dispersed is coming out of that small conglomerate of people, of you know who, who are, you know who practically hate every every non PBC fighter. So I, I really would like to know what that, who started that. I, I, I really want to know that. Because I think that's just ridiculous. That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, and you know, and it, like I said, man, everything comes down, you know, from, you know, from, you know, everything rolls downhill, man. So there's so many people running with this narrative that I don't, that I don't think anybody can prove to be factual. <laughs> that he said he's going to pull out of the fight if Caleb Plant doesn't stop with the accusations. I don't know what to tell you cats, man. Um, it's just goofy to me. Um, no, but I don't think anybody can substantiate that claim. I've heard no. I've heard nobody say that. I've, I've heard Canelo say nothing about that. And of course, I haven't looked either. I haven't looked. You dig the Twitter fingers is funny and everything. It, it makes for good content for content creators to speak on. But I haven't heard anything about that. I have heard nothing about that. So, I don't know, man. At the end of the day, what the fuck going on with Bosco? At the end of the day, man, um, we just can't wait for the fight. We just want to see the fight. We just want to see the fight. And I want to see the, you know, the good that comes out of Andre Ward being in your corner. I will, you know, I want I would like to see how that works out for you, man, because I think it's gonna be extremely beneficial to have him in your corner going into this fight. Because you are definitely going to need it. You are definitely going to need it. But it's just people who really think that all oh, man Canelo's gonna get fucked up because Andre Ward joined his corner. I'm like, that's just not necessarily the case. You aren't guaranteed a fight just because, you know. Your corner man, you know who you, who you who you got on your team. Oh, oh, really gonna be a dickhead like that? It's always one, man. It's always one. Fuck. He gonna go right in that spot too, ain't you? Oh no, he's not cool. So yeah, man. But that's how I'm feeling about the whole thing, man. I just I don't know. I'm excited for the fight, and I'm excited to see what Andre Ward is able to, you know, what, what tools he's able to give to Caleb Plant to, you know, better his chances of becoming undisputed. I'm excited. We can't wait to see the fight. Let's get into that, man. I just wish people, I just want niggas to stop acting stupid as, you know, when it, when it comes to shit like this, man. Ward can't fight for him. He still has to lace the gloves up and do the damn thing. So, let me know what y'all think. Like and subscribe. Peace.